Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So I have a small kind of collective haul. It's uh, an order that came in from Tonic. Um, two items from Simon Says Stamp. And um, an update on the Ink Road um, pen that came damaged. And, uh, so yeah, let's get started and see what I found. We're going to start with Ink Road. So I shared kind of like the embellishment sort of kind of haul that I got last week or the week before. And this particular pen arrived with the ink had somehow leaked into the barrel. And you know, I wrote her back, you know, I said, you know, I love everything. However, you know, this happened and I was a little surprised and she responded right away and, you know, um, was, you know, very, you know, apologetic and, um, thanked me because I sent her pictures so that, you know, and she in turn sent it to the manufacturer so that, you know, they could see what happened. But... She said she'd send another one. Well, I wasn't expecting. She sent me two. So, um, very happy about that. So, I will be keeping the one. And then the other one is going to end up going in um, a giveaway or friend mail somewhere down the road. But, um, yep. So, there's that. So, that's the Ink Road update. I thought that was a really good customer service. Like I said, she was really fast. And, um... Next is Simon Says Stamp. I don't know what where I put them, um, but I had shared some items from Stamp Timber, I believe, either earlier this week or late last week. But one of them was called Critter Crowd, and they didn't have the die when I ordered the stamp set. Well, the die came in. Well, they got it in and I ordered it, so that arrived today, so, which is nice because that means I don't have to fussy cut, um, which I don't mind because sometimes I find that relaxing. So, got that one, and then this stamp tamper set is so adorable. It's called Snow Kittens, and this one sold out super fast. So, I go in every morning around 8 o'clock to see what the new... Uh, collab is for the month of September because there's a new one every day and at eight o'clock on the day this one went live the bundle was all, so the stamp die bundle was already sold out I mean it was there was it was gone and I ordered the stamp because that's all that was left and then I think like two hours later it was sold out too I mean they sold out real fast but I thought it was really adorable um a merry meowy Christmas to all. I, th I think that's funny. Nobody stacks up to you. And you've got the little stack of the snow kitty. And then the other kitties. And then the little bird up top. Um, I love El Mama Elephant. So, I mean, I always look forward to when their collabs come out with Simon. Um, I'm, I'm never a really big fan of the little people. But I do always love the animals that they have in their their sets. So, got that. That's all that I have from Simon. And next, um, Tonic has been having bundle sales over the weekends. And I want to say, when did I order this? So, I ordered it on the 13th. So, that was last weekend. So, last weekend was like cardstock paper bundles. Um, go check them out this weekend because they have, I think they have five different bundles. One's a tool, one's an organizational one, which I want really bad, but I'm not getting it. There's an adhesive one. Um, I can't remember what the other ones are, but they're really great bundles and good prices. So you should go check them out. Um, I think you'll like what you find and they ship really fast. Like I said, I ordered this on the 13th and I got it yesterday. Yeah, I got these yesterday. So, 
I got two bundles and the two bundles of everything I'm going to show you, including shipping, I paid $28, but that also, that includes, uh, because I'm a monthly subscription, uh, kit subscriber, I get an additional discount on anything I purchase. So that saved me five, a little over $5. So I was, I was really happy with this sale. So let's see. So the first bundle is called the Silver Rose Collection. And so we'll start with the silver. This is called um, Silver Screen Glitter Card. The specialty cards, there's always five sheets. And I love their glitter card because it doesn't shed and it cuts really nice with the dies. Um, I've had some card stock like it's, it doesn't cut easy, but this cuts like butter. So we got that one. And then this one is called Specialty Card Silver Silk. This is an A4 size. So if you're new to crafting, A4 is um, a standard size that they um, use in the UK. And I like it because it actually gives you, it's a little bit bigger than our 8.5 by 11. So you kind of work, you can kind of work with like bigger images or have, you know, more room to work with. So again, five sheets of that. And that was the silver. With the pink, let me make sure I have, yeah, okay. The pink, there was specialty paper pink champagne, and again, another A4, and it kind of has the texture of water. Five sheets. Um, and it's really like, I mean, almost moves like fabric, and I love it. Next, we have specialty card Salmon Harlequin, and um, it kind of gives you that, that leather embossed look. Really pretty. Then there's the pearlescent card in Pink Princess. Again, five sheets, and it's got a shimmer to it. It's kind of hard to see with the um, glare from the lights, but um, there's that. And then two, two packs, there's a classic card. So this is the weave texture. So I like this. I think texture cardstock really gives a nice um, oomph to your project. But that is me. That's my opinion. Um, so we have rose pink and there's 10 sheets of this. And then there's ballet pink and 10 sheets of that. So that was all one bundle. This bundle here was seventeen sixty six, um, and so I guess I got like three dollars off of that. Yeah, so that would make it, you know, fourteen dollars basically. And then the second bundle I got was a classic card weave again, but this is called Beach Hut, and so all the colors are kind of like um, remind you of like being at the beach like they're bright they're bright vibrant colors so the first one i got was ocean blue marigold yellow buttermilk yellow teal blue and coral pink and yeah i've i've been to beaches where that is the the color theme going on so i agree with beach hut i think that was a good name for this collection I did do a small Tuesday morning haul um, because they started that, uh, uh, again, they're doing the 25% additional on clearance, and I went to see what they had, and that video, for some reason, just vanished, and I had already put everything away, so I have no clue. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm not even going to try to find it. Um, it's already put away. But I do have this here, and it's only because um, I didn't take it down to wash it yet. I love cut glass, and I thought this would be nice to like either hold tools or like if I do like a bouquet of paper flowers or something like that. I think that would look pretty in there. But this was originally four ninety nine. It was forty percent off, and then I got another twenty five percent off that. So I think I paid like two dollars. For this really pretty vase is what they're calling it 
or vase, however you want to see that. So there's that. And then I did find a couple other things, but um, yeah, I will be doing a Arteza review on Sunday. Um, Arteza reached out to me. Um, they then the items, all the items finally arrived. I will be also sharing um, an Arteza item that I reviewed, that I purchased myself and reviewed last winter. Um, so I just want to give it another tryout and see how it performs um, with some of the items that I did receive from Arteza this month. So that'll be Sunday. So if you keep an eye out for that. And tomorrow I'll probably be doing a Dollar Tree haul that'll be Halloween themed. Um, and that's about it. The craft room has taken a small step backwards. Um, my son's friend had some things happen and um, he needed a place to stay. So we moved all the stuff that I have in my daughter's room, craft wise, back into my craft room. And now there's no room. <laughs> So I'm going to be trying to work hard on that over the next couple days so I can get the craft room back to, I guess, where it was. And um, so fingers crossed, I might be able to do an update. If not, maybe next weekend. I'm, I'm really wanting to do an update, but that really stuck a wrench in the project. So anywho, just one thing. Um, Yes, everybody sees things differently. I'm addressing a comment. Um, everything is a matter of perception. However, I try to be really nice to everybody I meet, whether I know them or not. And so if the, you know, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm nice and I'm outgoing. And... I don't, I'm still going to say it. I don't think it was polite to reach across somebody and grab stuff that, you know, somebody else is reaching for. That's my opinion. And that is my perception. So, um, that's all there is on that topic. I hope you all have a great night. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend planned and I hope you get some crafting done with that. Love you guys to pieces. And as always, Happy crafting. Bye-bye.